Hey there, welcome to the Lucy channel. Welcome to this, their most memorable, memorable moments of you. What are their most memorable moments of you? What do they remember? What do they like about you? What do they miss about you? What do they think of when they think of you? What are those most memorable moments of you? Um, I don't know if I've seen this reading or not. It's something that I thought of and I was like, oh, that'd be really cute. So we're going to try it together. Pick your pile. What are their most, most pick a number, memorable moments of you? The timestamps are in the description box below. Welcome to damn near everyday readings. This when this is taking place and I'm doing a video every day, giving you guys a reading every day. And uh, I hope you're you know, I hope you're enjoying it. I hope it's serving you. Um, I'll see you in the comments. <laughs> see you in your reading first. Hey, number five. Well, hey, number five. What are their most memorable moments of you? Um, this is a love reading. But if you are like watching this for someone else, just take the love stuff out. <laughs> I feel like I have to say that because this could you could just be you know it could be with anybody you know what I'm saying um or you could read it as probably should have said this in the beginning of the reading as however way you want to do it in that you know what about you is just generally memorable I'm gonna shuffle off camera because I'm having <laughs> I'll see you in a bit here we go their most memorable moment of you thorns reverse seven of cups knight of cups ten of wands you can't see that and the page of swords in reverse let's go ahead and just flip turn that boy right up okay, okay number five um they remember your struggle like for sure right like i don't know how you feel about that but they remember what you've been through they remember what you went through they remember um what you've been through and also how you like rose above it how hard you work how much of a hard worker you are um, maybe you work nights, you coming home late, and I, I don't know, I'm seeing you, like, nah. I'm sure you complained, right? But, like, if you complained, it was few and far between. I feel like you took it like a champ, you took whatever was going on with you like a champ, and you didn't complain as much. Like, that's what at least their memories of you are, right? Like, their their most memorable moments of you is you sort of being graceful and you maybe your body telling them how you're feeling but not you you sort of taking it um by the chin and i think they their most memorable of you is also oddly like, if you ever went to a party, if you were ever with them in a group of people, or you sent them videos of you in a group of people, I think a memorable moment is also, like, when they saw you with a group of people. Um, you surrounded by a group of people. Um, and about, like, how helpful you are to other people, how thoughtful you are with others. In like just random ways like oh here let me get that for you or you're telling them about a friend that did something or a family member or what have you and you're like so i'm gonna go help them do this or i'm gonna send them this or whatever like that that sort of like kindness and maybe your celebration of other people like you're not as judgmental but if you do come off as judgmental like you're really saying some some harsh stuff about someone or something maybe not even that harsh they t they can tell that the nuance with which you're talking is through the lens of like passion 
through the lens of like care and maybe even them seeing that like maybe you care a little bit too much about you know certain people or certain aspects of like uh the people in your life um or what have you what the fuck okay um that's very very strange <sighs> anyway um let's see this person appreciates and remembers your 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 vibes like you i feel like you have like you're a dreamer oh my god for sure you're such a dreamer and this person like remembers that um like when they think of you they think of oh man pal five what a dreamer like pal five lives in their own world pal five like it's not abnormal for them to have walked by you or Maybe you guys are out at a restaurant together or whatever and just have you like, it wasn't uncommon or something, or maybe it happened once or whatever, but they remember a moment when you just kind of like zoned out, whether you were actually talking about something and like you had the far away dreamy look in your eyes or whatever, or maybe, you know, it was a moment of silence between the two of you and they just looked at you and you were like, not there. <laughs> you were in like a fairy tale like you were in your own space um there's something about like you and a variety of food so maybe there was like a rest at a restaurant perhaps there was something about like a variety of food or a buffet or even a party that party theme keeps coming up where maybe there was a variety of food and there's something about that moment where you either like weren't so happy with it <laughs> Um, like you didn't see the thing that you wanted or something. I am seeing somebody also like sampling everything. I don't know if you ate everything though. Like somebody may have sampled sev so many things, but didn't like certain, like many. It's like a bite here, bite here, bite there. Um, I think they know, like another memorable thing about you is like there's a certain like drink that you're always drinking. For many people, it's like a Starbucks, whatever, like they, or like coffee or what, like it's just, there's like a drink that they, they remember you just like being down bad for. <laughs> I don't know if I used that word correctly, but, or the phrase correctly. Um, yeah, I think for some of you, maybe they don't remember you with people just because this did come up in the reverse, in the reverse, but there's something about people like they either maybe didn't see you much with people and they remember when they did see you with a lot of people and were like oh like number five is actually really vivacious and number five is actually like social <laughs> something like that um and they were like oh this is a new side of number five that is new um maybe for some of you they didn't think that you had friends um that's something that I'm also getting. So that's a very interesting energy there. <sighs> this person remembers if you took selfies with them, they remember them. They liked to look at the pictures. Um, yeah, that you guys took together or that you sent them. Um, yeah. I think this person also, yeah, someone took a lot of selfies. <laughs> someone took a lot of selfies. I'm looking at you, number five. I'm looking at you for that selfie. <laughs> Jesus. Mm. This they they could. I don't want to say like they they're watching you or like looking over old pictures. They might. 
they might like that's not what we're looking for here <laughs> but they might i'm just seeing a lot of like daydreaming and like fantasies and fantasizing and the like this person another member moment of you is like how adult you are but also like the little moments where you would let like your little one come through yeah like your little your little your little self your little buddy come through and like juxtaposed with you being like an adult there's something about that. I think this person either wonders or they would think about, like, they remember my moments to think about how, like, if you're not with this person in your life, I think, or if they, if, if they are, they wonder, like, what you're going to do with your life, like, what you're going to do with certain things that you were maybe contemplating or whatever. This person remembers you mostly smiling a lot, even through, like, crazy stuff. They remember you mostly, like, having a smile on your face and being, like, positive overall. Um, yeah. That's all. That's all I'm gonna look into. That's what this person... Uh, those are like their most memorable moments of you, you know? So that's kind of sweet. I'm doing everyday love readings, damn near everyday love readings on this channel. I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, check out the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Why? <laughs> subscribe and unsubscribe later if you're not into this good good. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know how this served you. And... I'll see you next time. Bye. Keep your light on and good luck. <laughs> Shit. Whoops. Hey, number six. Hey, number six. Number six. What are their most memorable moments of you? Um, I am reading this in a romantic -y kind of way but it really could fall for any way anybody you're checking on just do your due diligence on your side to change what you need to change this could be just in general what people their mem most memorable moments of you are or a specific person i'd probably prefer a specific person but that's up to you baby i'm not your police Oh my, there's a lot of cards here. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Amazing. Oh, all uprights. Thank you. We are going to flip this. Card number 28, protests start a revolution. They, their most memorable moments of you is how you either like struggle to change or like how you changed there may have been something that you were pretty stubborn about or something that you were obligated to obliged to something that you like was hard for you to leave or hard for you to change about yourself or your circumstances and that's like a memory that stands out pretty boldly in their mental you pocket <laughs> how you um, had a hard time moving through this particular thing, whether it was leaving a job, whether it was leaving a friendship, whether even leaving another like relationship. Um, you know, maybe it's like fitness goals. Uh, traveling somewhere, whatever. Like you, you really like um, struggled and worked hard and I think it's something that you eventually overcame. 
Just because I'm seeing all these eights. There's three eights here, bruh. Three whole eights. So that's insane. The only eight we're missing is the eight of wands. So I'm not sure if this person, if they're still in your life, if they're not in your life, I don't know if this person ever got to see you like actually overcome this thing. You know? But, um... Is eight? No, that's 32, right? 16, 32? No, that's not right. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's 24. Okay. I'm just doing some math. Don't mind me. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. <laughs> um, anyway, what else they're memorable? Uh, I don't know how to phrase this <laughs> in English. What? What else their most, what other most memorable memories of you? This person remembers you studying. So maybe this is like a school thing, a work thing, like studying for exams or something. They remember you like putting in work, putting in time and putting in effort into um, a certain thing that you wanted to do, even though, yeah, you didn't want to do it anymore or it was just difficult but I think that I remember you complaining about it, but also you still putting in the work. Like you really did try to find a good uh, stance. Like you tried to be balanced and the like. And I think in some ways they did admire your persistence and your um, patience someone else would have walked away or they themselves would have quit and even though sometimes you did quit you had your days of just being like fuck it i can't you would get back on that horse because like you knew that the, this thing that you had to conquer like you had to conquer it come hell or high water and even though it was very difficult to you were putting in the work to conquer it um, but I think they just, yeah, like some of their most memorable moments is you just like lamenting over this thing, you talking about how much this thing sucked or how much, you know, them even seeing its effect on you and, um, that pain. And they do remember you like trying to have happy moments and they were happy when you were in a happy moment and a happy mood. But yeah, I think they, I think they saw you trying to recalibrate yourself. Um, I think this person may have heard you crying when you didn't think they were hearing you cry. I think this person, uh, woof. Yeah, some other just memorable moments is like of you just not in a good way. Not, not like they're thinking of you not in a good way. Like, I'm not actually. I don't know how the story is applying to you, number six, but I feel like I'm not getting, like, negative vibes. I'm not getting, like, and by that, I mean I'm not getting a very normal reaction of, oh, my God, this again. It's just kind of like watching this person going through, I'm hearing, like, NCLEX, like, nursing or going through a breakup or even if they're, like, a you person like you going like even if this is a romantic interest like they could have still seen you go through a breakup because of those like leftover feelings that were not handled or they did come out and exhibit themselves in your dynamic with them who knows but i digress like i i'm just really picking up on this like neutral and leaning more towards positive energy of somebody being like dang this person's going through it you know, that's, like, something memorable, how, like, you tried to, you know, do your best with your mood and your, your world and putting in energy and effort where you wanted to put in the energy and effort, maybe a business, maybe your weight, again, like, whatever that is, even though you didn't want to, even though you were feeling tired, even though you were feeling, like, 
a disconnected even though you were feeling like however way you were feeling you would still show up i'm kind of getting like a sense of admiration here too just because like yeah this the sense of how does this person do this but i'm also quite happy that when they're happy it's good um so maybe some of you may have been starting over in some type of way which again is a thing like if you're going through something there's an element of having to start over and maybe they saw you leaving something behind that you had to now like start from the ground and, and study all over again and relearn new things and it's difficult and it sucks and it's hard but you're doing it anyway and they're kind of like why you know uh if it is a breakup it's like dang you're with that person for like years like why don't you just stay like i don't want to say a lesser man but like someone else would have stayed ah, maybe i would have stayed but here you are trying like you're going for it you're still you know trying yeah this this is this is a really big thing i didn't think this was going to take up the entire reading but yeah it, it is like there's just a lot i mean we have eight of cups walking away from something eight of pentacles working hard eight of swords being trapped and again she's covered by books just she's she's in mental just ugh. and three of swords hello and protest like bro <laughs> this person's been through it and that's what they remember like memorable moments it's like you and i think it would be like your your smaller triumphs right smaller triumphs not maybe the big one like maybe there was an exam and you were freaking out and you passed or maybe there was you know a moment where someone could, whatever your thing was your struggle whether it was like a medical appointment or going to the gym every day or eating certain kinds of foods or whatever the fuck it was like going to work and saying and standing up to this person like whatever your thing was they were happy when you were happy like they were happy to see you happy and smile and relaxed and feeling at peace um and i yeah i don't know i don't know it's not like the most sexy message <laughs> to receive but i think this person really like enjoyed when you were happy which is nice and that makes sense um I think they saw that you were going for a bigger picture. If you ever thought this person thought less of you, I want you to know, like, not really. They didn't. They actually admired your tenacity. At least when they think about it now, they admire the tenacity that you had to, like, conquer and put yourself in positions that forced you to grow and that you embraced the growing that the situation required of you. And as much as like it sucked and as much as it was terrible and as much as like you hated it, you positioned yourself in such a way that they were in awe of your ability to overcome as opposed to succumb. And yet you were still also human in that process and that like you did lament, you did cry over certain things, you did panic, you did, you know, do all these things. And even with that, you never stayed down. You kept on going. So I think that's something that this person is like, wow really celebrating those wins and that's like their most memorable moments of you like those moments when you showed them like a different a very authentic way to be like wow there's actually people out here who give a damn even when it's hard and they don't run away like that's really impressive. I don't know if I could do that. Like you really, I, that's what that's what I'm really picking up here. Number six. Um, hey, number six. I am doing re readings every day, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. They're love readings. <sighs> Damn near. We're still doing some generals as well. I'm also gonna be here tomorrow, so you might as well just like subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications because I do go live and I like bless you guys with free readings and stuff. So. I don't want you to miss your blessing. Make sure that you're subscribing. <laughs> and leave me a comment too. Let me know how this, this went for you. Okay? Keep your light on, my friend, and good luck. Hey, number four. Hey, number four. Number four. What's their most memorable moment of you? And I don't know who your they is. This is meant to be a romantic reading. But between you and me, you can do what you want. Or you can just be like, 
what are people's most memorable moments of me? <laughs> but I need you to police yourself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we have the universe. We're going to get a little bit more information. I'm trying to paint a picture here. Um, what I want you to know is I'm doing damn near everyday love readings on this channel for the month in celebration of the Venus season. And I encourage you to subscribe, hit the bell if you're already subscribed, just to make sure that you don't miss your blessing when I go live. Okay, I just go one more. And leave me a comment too. Let me know how this resonated with you. I'm really curious to know. Um, <laughs> I see. So we have the universe. We're all just stardust. Queen of Wands. Oh, they're all in reverse. Okay. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This person, their most memorable memories of you are how you just be living on a prayer. <laughs> now, I don't know if this person thinks you're lucky or I'm not going to say they think you're dumb. I think, hold on, number four. Let me finish my thought. Let me finish my thought before you get wild. This is like, I'm, I'm looking at somebody who doesn't try. Someone who's going to like manifest. I'm looking at, like, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say the words in a non- us way because like we live in this world of like manifesting and whatever but i'm trying to see like how like a mundane person would <laughs> would like see this energy but this person their memories of you are like that person doesn't i don't know how it goes i don't know how it goes for you but like that person doesn't do anything but like they want the things but they're not doing the things that they need to do to get the things Instead, this person is just wishing and hoping and praying. That person is so lucky. But I think... <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with that. Whether or not... Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. I think this person, though, doesn't see the inner work that's going on. This person doesn't see that you're doing the work on the inside in order to make it come to fruition on the outside that you're doing the inner work that you're you've done the inner work that the decisions that you make you don't make big moves necessarily like you don't make big societally judged big moves in that like you know Someone buying a building is like a big move, right? But someone... <sighs> That's the thing. Like, it's the same thing. Someone signing a contract is not a big move. But the thing is, is like you can sign a contract to buy the building. So I think this person doesn't see or wasn't able to see the stuff that was going on underneath with you. That's, that's the story I'm going to go with. You could be a lazy dude. You could be a lazy baby. I don't know. This person could think you're a lazy bum 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 of them all. I don't know. But <laughs> what I'm seeing here is I, I'm going to tell the story that, I, I, that I'm going to go with, right? For some of you, this person thought number four ain't shit. Number four wants, wants the world to be given to them. Number four doesn't want to work and they want the money. Number four is one of those people who says, think it and dream it and it'll come to life and that shit never works. And if it does work, that person is just lucky. Everybody else has to work. Da -da 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 -da. That's how this person could see you, right? And they really could. They really, really could. However, I'm trying to understand why these energies here showed up. I'm trying to see where they fit. I'm trying to see if this person has yet to realize that. But, but that's the thing. I think this person may have thought that at some point. 
and I don't want to speak <laughs> I don't want to speak for them says the reader reading from their energy but the story that I'm gonna go with from moving forward here police yourself is the story of somebody who is trying to figure out how you do make the big moves that you do because you don't do anything like at this point yes number four is i'm speaking from them right yes number four is lucky but how much luck can one person have i want to be that lucky i want to tap into that or like how did they do that how did they manifest a new phone when they told me they needed one how did they manifest a house or a home how did they manifest um a car how did they manifest a whole like person to love on them like that just like that like number four doesn't do anything how is number four so lucky but the thing is even with these which i'm gonna get to which i kind of am getting to i'm doing it now number four this person also you show like baby you show up as the queen of wands <laughs> okay the queen of wands is a very interesting energy as i've gotten to know her in like many different ways the queen of wands has this energy of like to me the queen of wands is true feminine the queen of wands is true feminine she's all of anything like feminine wrapped up in one she is the other woman she is the femme fatale she is the virgin madonna she is the innocent you know pure whatever uh, person she is the homewrecker she is the vixen she is the lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets she is the woman you do want to bring home to mom and she's also the woman who you bring around your friends and she's that energy where your friends love her right you you could be a dude you just just go along with these pronouns that i'm using thank you um she's the one who everybody wants to be her or be with her like she's the belle of the ball and she's also the wallflower uh but she's still killing it as a fucking wallflower baby okay the sun shines in that direction son um like she's the fucking queen of wands and how does she do that like she is true dark feminine and like feminine as we know her and she's passive and aggressive <laughs> she's she's dainty and fucking a powerhouse she does it all like to me the queen of wands as i've come to know her is that bitch okay she is all of feminine in one like icon you could talk about the empress okay whatever but i'm talking about the queens this is the queen of wands this is how i see her she's very confusing to me in that she's the innocent virginal pure card in like the deck i would assume it's the queen of cups but she's out here giving it to everybody usually the virginal cards in like my sexy decks is the queen of wands which is insane she's the queen of wands like hello that's a wand super phallic but okay she's virginal um but then she's also like the other woman how is that she's the temptation she is um my hot wife like she's the milf like <laughs> she's she's in the kitchen and also in the backyard in the garden she's just how does the queen of wands do what the queen of wands does this is if it's a dude it's that dude that's like really a man's man right a man's man who will work in the garage will get grease will try to fix the car but dude is also a massive cuddle bug like like just a cuddle bug you know this is my guy working out in the gym pumping iron looking beefed and this is also my guy eating ice cream on the cone and licking it and being like mm, i just really like it's just this oxymoron like just what is the queen of wands 10 minutes later like for real 10 minutes later 
you don't show up as the queen of wands <laughs> and be a lazy bitch. <laughs> that is something the queen of wands is not. The queen of wands will have, as the culmination of feminine, she will have the universe bow down to her. To her whim. So this person recognizes eventually in this memory of theirs of you that there must be something number four is doing that I just can't see. They must be investing in themselves. They must be building the right kinds of relationships that come in at the right fucking points. They must be stable in some kind of ways in order to make the decisions that they make. Like, there's something about number four that this person is trying to figure out. You're a conundrum, and they're trying to figure you out. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who keeps their shit to themselves, but not in a I'm keeping it to myself. It's just you've done the inner work, okay? You've done the you stuff to such a degree that you don't need to, like, it just oozes out of you. And this person is trying to, like, figure out, like, their memorable moments of you are you saying something wise. You, you somehow being the voice of reason. <laughs> you being this oxymoron person who... I wouldn't ex I didn't expect that from you. Like I thought you would say this, but you said that. Like it's it's a very interesting vibe. They're still trying to figure you out. Yeah, they're still trying to figure you out. They're trying to figure out how excuse me. How you do what you do and how you are what you are. And when they excuse me. When they think about you, they're trying to like dissect you and and think oh what would number four do or what would number four do <laughs> i know i said the same thing twice but it carries a different essence to me i don't know um yeah yeah for some of you you might be a teacher and they remember you being a teacher and I think you were sterner than they thought. If you were ever, you know, in a, I don't want to say superior position, but if you were ever treating someone or teaching someone, whatever, uh, I think they, you were harsher than they expected you to be. Um, but you still got results and they're like, oh, I wasn't expecting number four to be so tough. I think I'm going to go. <laughs> I think, I think I'm gonna go, right? Like, I think that was good, right? Maybe. Did you get their memorable moment? Their memorable moment of you number four is the time that you subscribed and left a comment on the Lucifer channel. <laughs> no, the memorable moment is of like trying to understand you. You be living rent free in this person's head, baby. Like they're tr like when they think of you, they're trying to be like, yeah, but like why? And like why did they say that? And like how did they do that? And like they're so lucky, but like clearly it's not just luck when it happens so many times. There's something underneath, and what is that? What is that? I want to figure that out. Maybe if I also subscribe to the Loose Lemire channel and leave a comment and hit the bell all to get notified when she goes live and she does free readings. Maybe I too will have what number four has. <laughs> ah, number four, I, I, I am available for personal readings um, if you'd like that. I wish for everything though. Keep your light on, good luck, and I will see you next time. Hey, number two. Hey, number two. Number two, number two, number two, number two. Number two. What is their most memorable memories of you? What are their most memorable memories of you? Is that the grammatically correct? <laughs> Help me out. It's funny, the card knows its place exactly. So that's what we're looking at. And as I'm shuffling in this energy, I do want to tell you that 
I will be flipping the reversals upright. I don't know why. I'm just in the mood. I'm in the mood for it. I'm in the mood for it. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I am recording videos or putting out videos and readings every day um, for this Libra love season. I'm a Libra. I love Libra season. It's my birthday season. And so I like to, um, it, to have everybody celebrate. <laughs> and I force everybody into celebrating my birthday season by doing everyday readings. So... <laughs> you know I'm here and I hope you can keep me company during that time but if you subscribe and then unsubscribe later that's totally fine just so you get all the readings when they come up wow okay no all right never mind we have the emperor we have the five of swords we have the queen of wands we have the lovers we have the fool in reverse and the page of cups in reverse and then we also have bitch fire <laughs> bitch fire i thought it said bitch free <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the reverse all right um here's the thing for some of you watching this if you're checking on somebody from like way back or like someone who you're no longer in your life with or maybe you had a disconnect at some point and now they're kind of back whatever the case may be like there was a separation or is actively a separation their memory like one of their memories of you is like being free from you or like you being free from them and being like oh, i've been number two is a freaking happy that they're like free from me you know or like maybe there were they were happy that they were free from you but also there's this like after effect of like i'm happy in the beginning and then later on they're like oh but like wait <laughs> number two though are we really dun 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 dun? <sighs> the memories that this person has of you are very interesting. I don't. It really depends. I'm still kind of stuck on this energy of someone who's like not in your world. So I'll speak from that place, but I'd like you to like exercise your own adjustments as needed thank you this person doesn't want to think of you okay they don't want to think of you and i think thoughts of you just kind of pop into their head and then it stands out like those and i think for some of you yeah i'm, I'm getting this like cavaclet like this like domino effect of like once they start thinking of you or once they start talking about you where like, oh, number two used to do, oh yeah, like, you know, like once upon a time, number two used to do this. And it's like that thing of them bringing you up, the whole day is about number two in their head. Like you live there. Okay. Um, for others of you, this person, like you're, <laughs> like this person does not want to think of you. I feel like over time, this person will or has found the fondness back in your dynamic i'm hungry and like there's nothing to eat <laughs> i think i want like a grilled chicken of sorts okay how does that relate <laughs> i have not had grilled chicken in ages that's how you pop into this person's head like randomly and then once you do your staying power in their head is is beefy okay it's a lot um this person let's get into their most memorable memories of you i think when this person was going through a dark time you were there they didn't want you around. This person, number two, I'm gonna tell you right now, didn't want you around. There's like no way for me to get out of that like mindset. I'm gonna try, but like I have my ceiling night one next to me. <laughs> like I'm gonna try and hold on to this point. Look how big it is. But this person did not want you around, okay? At some point or in their head, like in their head, 
this person like is like not nah, number two shunning but like also no <laughs> it's just not fully possible so let's talk about when you are in their head when they are thinking about you whether it's because you're a distraction whether it's because you're too yummy or like whatever the reason is this person like fights actively like thinking about you or has or did um when they do think about you <laughs> like their memories of you are like <laughs> of you being pretty dominant you being dominant almost by any means necessary but you being like a dominant person right Ex exclude that whole they don't want to think about it their memories of you now that we've gotten through that message is like of you being like a dominant person you're a dominant person but here's the thing like maybe they didn't like it like maybe they didn't like it like maybe they didn't like you they didn't like you sort of like bossing them around or they felt like you were bossing them around i'm not sure if it's because other people said that or maybe your tone in certain aspects of like you telling them what to do was just like hey like step off like please maybe that was it but if this person was being honest they kind of didn't mind too much that you were leading they they like their favorite like they're not their favorite but like their memories of you when you come to mind are like of you telling them what to do of you moving you guys forward whatever this dynamic was of you making sense even when they didn't like it it's just maybe like sometimes your delivery was off you know like you didn't have to be petty about it you didn't have to be like crazy about it you don't have to be ridiculous about it but like when they do think about it like that choice was right and maybe like they feel some type of way about that because it's like dang it like i hate that they're being like that like i don't like that they're being like that but they're right like i don't like it but they're right like this is the way to go this is the thing to do this person didn't want to think about you i think this person did want to leave you at some point or something but they saw reason in like having you around. They saw reason in like your way. Aha. And that's tough. I think this person was a little bit kind of lost and like you leading the way was helpful. That's what they remember. Like you did lead the way. Um and even if they didn't like it, like, you were right. And then this person's memories of you is also that you did help them. And that you taught them certain things that they may not have understood but I'd like to think that as life goes on, they will or do. This person, I don't know if they're still in your life or whatever, but I think, yeah, this person, I, there was a mismatch for sure between the two of you. Like their memories of you, at least from their perspective, there is a mismatch. Like you're they perceived you as higher than them or you set yourself up as higher than them but their memories of you like their memorable moments of you is sort of like them seeing how i don't want to say out of touch but like how i don't want and i don't want to say unaccomplished either but like their memories of you are in that realm of things like you made them feel like oh shit like there is more to this world or there is a direction to take like there are things to do i'm not actually moving in my life like you know like i think this person got guidance from you whether they wanted it or not 
and they saw that sort of like discrepancy between the two of you. And so sometimes thinking about you is a bit painful a little bit because it's like a reminder of how, I don't want to say it like this, but how much like lesser, woo, don't like saying that, but how much lesser they were or are compared to you. How they feel like you've got the answers, like you've made it and they haven't even started. I think they thought that, oh, I'm doing something. But even even if they didn't think that they were doing something with their life or whatever the case may be, like, I think standing next to you, they were like, oh, shit. Like, standing next to you made them sort of see where they themselves were at. Like, you... They and I think that's maybe this whole like they didn't want to be like da 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 da. I think if it's not like they didn't want to be with you or whatever, if that that whole thing that I was saying, if it's not that, thank you, spirit. It was they didn't want what you brought, which was a reflection and like a light shining on their inadequacies. And it's not inadequacies that like necessarily you saw in them. Maybe you did. I'm not talking about that right now. But it's inadequacies that they themselves like had like just kind of put in the dark. Like if I can't see it, it's not there. But it's like you came in like a wrecking ball. Like you came in like a fucking light. Like you just like the sun is up. You can't hide that dust. You can't hide that shit over there. Like you you couldn't hide it. You I think you came into this person's life. Like your energy came in as this new. Have you ever? When I used to have Facebook, I never, I don't have, I don't really have it anymore. Um, when I used to have Facebook, <laughs> whenever I saw a friend request from someone who I really liked or like whatever, I would always look at my page th- like automatically through the eyes of a different person. And the cringe was so real. That's when I'd start deleting stuff. That's when I'd start organizing stuff. That's when I'd start like doing things that I thought was right. Because looking through someone else's eyes at my situation was like, oh my God. Or this is probably more relatable. When you're having a friend over, right? When you're having a friend over, all of a sudden you start realizing how much of like, a shithole your places or your surrounding like you start cleaning you start like cleaning shit that you never thought to clean before the fucking walls the doorknobs the, the door itself you know what i'm saying like you just start seeing your place through the eyes of a stranger and i feel like that's the energy that like you brought to this dynamic with this person at least that's what they think of like their memorable moment if that is a moment that actually happened where like you went to this person's home or what have you like I think they remember that and they were like oh shit like oh dang um yeah yeah I think this person's memorable moment is like you (laughs) you be right (laughs) like this is what they they think about um you being right like you maybe working and being about your business and um doing things conquering things making tough choices and coming out on top shit like no matter who falls at your feet or no matter who it impacts negatively or whatever you making the the calls that are maybe a little bit ruthless you know you being strict you being um blunt and straightforward in in certain conversations or interactions um and you not like taking shit like those moments when you were like a boss bitch we have the emperor here he's a boss bitch so don't come at me with is this just for females (laughs) it's not (laughs) but you know it's whatever um yeah those moments where like you weren't a dreamer you're a doer like you don't just when you say oh i think i want to like open a business selling sweatshirts 
that everybody can be like, oh yeah, I think I wanted it. But like, no, actually a week later, you're looking up sweatshirt orders, like how much they cost, where you can sell them. You've got the equipment, like you're going for it. And they're like, oh shit, like you actually did it. <laughs> you're not just a talker, you're actually a doer and you do things. And you have the financials figured out, like you have the, the, the stuff kind of like, this is what I have to do. This is what I want to do. Like, you want to live in another country. Oh, okay. You make it pop. Like, you make it happen, right? Like, you're that person. Um, like, those kinds of memories. They're just, you being a boss bitch. Just, you being a boss bitch, number two. And, like, making tough calls. Making tough choices. And choosing stability in a way that is bold. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Is bold. Uh, I think I told you everything I needed to tell you. I'll see you tomorrow because I'm here tomorrow. I'm doing damn near everyday readings. Damn near everyday love reading. So come get your fix. <laughs> I'm making sure everybody is well fed. Um, it's for my birthday. I want to make sure everybody's well fed. I wish you everything number two. Keep it light on. Good luck. Bye. Bye.